Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use loop in JavaScript. Um, let's say, assume I want to write a program to print a series of numbers from 1 to 3 uh, in this format. Uh, so I want to go ahead and have 1, then 2, then 3, each of these digits in a different line. So if I want to do something like that, uh, one way would be to create a string that holds the value 1, br, 2, br, and 3br, right? Now, of course, if I want to add more number, then I can say 4br, 5br, and so on, right? But one thing that doesn't change is the pattern of these string. If you look at this, we always have br. Between the br, we have digits, right? See, this is the pattern we have to uh, uh, look at. Uh, the thing is, these numbers are in sequence. They, uh, get incremented by 1, so 1, 2, and 3, right? If I want to write something like that, uh, one way to do that is to create a variable, I'll call it i, and I'll make it 1 because I want to start from 1, right? Then simply I can go ahead and print, this can be uh, inner HTML, it can be console.log, document.write, alert, whatever it is, I just put a flash here to say you have to print, right? So if I want to print this, I will go ahead and print i, then I will append uh, br as a string, to end of these, right? So then, uh, of course, if I want to print the next number, I can simply go ahead and do i++ to increment the value of i by 1, and then go ahead and print this and say i uh, concatenate the br tag to the end, right? Then I can simply go ahead and do i++, and then again print i plus br, right? Okay. What we did here, from this pattern here, we actually come up with this code. But if you look at this code, uh, this section of the code is getting repeated as many times as we want to print the digit. So every time I want to print one digit, I simply have to have i plus br and then increment the value of i, right? So whenever you have this scenario or this situation, it means since the, all these statements are the same, you can simply use loop in JavaScript and repeat this portion of the code as many times as you want. So if I want to print from 1 to 10, since I started i uh, equal 1, uh, I have to stop when i is less than 4, right? If i is less than 4, it means I do not need more to print. If you have something like this and you want to loop through it, you can simply put this condition inside a bracket of the while loop and open a curly bracket to cover more than one line, very similar to if statement. So this will repeat this as many times as you want. Of course, the variable here has to be outside the loop. Let's go ahead and run this program, see how it works, right? So I want to print from 1 to 10. I simply go ahead and uh, the first thing I do is I'll create a variable. I'll make it i, which is starting point for me. I want to start from 1. I also create a temporary variable. I call it str, make it equal empty string. This is where I want to hold the uh, 1 br, 2 br, and 3 br, right? So the condition for me, as I said, would be i is less than 4 because I want to print 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So if this is the condition, I can simply put this one inside a while loop and open the bracket. And I start writing. So I want to write everything to the str. I simply append everything back to str because I'm inside the loop. I do not want to overwrite the value of str. So I just go here, i plus, and I'll put the br there. Of course, if I run this program right now, the value of i stays the same. It will never ever be greater, uh, uh, greater than 4. It's going to always stay less than 4. So this, loops, this loop will go forever. We call this loop that it never ever breaks. We call it infinite loop, right? In order to break this loop, we gotta break this condition. We wanna print from one and go all the way to three. So that is why I simply go ahead and increment the value of i by one. Now, simply when the loop is finished, I have a str that contains the pattern i want. So I just go ahead and use the buffer uh, that is the uh, object uh, accessing the thief tag, just go ahead and do the inner.html and I put the str in there, right? Let's see what it, 
how it looks. So I refresh the page, I simply go ahead and you can see one, two, three as there, right? I could go ahead and increase this value if I need to. Let's say I want to go ahead and make this one uh, 10. So I want to print from 1 to 10. As you can see, this can change, right? Now, uh, of course, I can make this loop dynamic. I can go ahead and ask the user to enter a number to start. Sorry, number to start, right? So if I go do this and use it enter 4, then it simply starts from that point, which is 4, and goes all the way to break the loop. I can simply have another variable to hold the end of this loop, right? So I can ask the user to enter number to end the loop. So there are different scenarios there that we want to do. Uh, for now, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and make this one as 1 to make it simpler for us to understand. So I've done this. I want to go ahead and create a loop to print these values in reverse. Well, one thing you have to remember is uh, I want to I want to go ahead and print 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and so on, right? If the loop starts from 1 and goes all the way and print all the value to 10, whenever this loop breaks, the value of i is, what do you think the value of i is? Look at the condition i is less than 11, it means i is not less than 11, that's why the while loop break and then we print this. So at this moment, i right here is 11, right? So I want to print from 10 to 1, I just simply subtract the value of i by 1. So at this moment, right in this line, i is 10 now. So I go ahead and create another while loop and I say while i is greater than what? I want to print 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then stop, right? So while i is greater than 0. So let's go ahead and copy what we had to print these values for us. I just drop it here. Now i is greater than 0, so it comes over here, it prints 10. If I go ahead and do the increment as I did before in the first loop, the value of i become 11. So this loop become infinity, it will never ever break because i will always be greater than zero. In order to get closer to the condition and break the loop, because I want to print the number in reverse, I just go ahead and make minus minus. Let's go ahead and print the str now, right? Let's see what we get now. I just go ahead, refresh this, print this. I have 1 to 10 and 10 to 1. Right? So as you can see, I've printed the value, no problem. I hope you enjoy the loop. Uh, and of course, you can do anything between this loop. You can find all the odd number, all the even number, get the sum of all these numbers. And so you can do a lot of things with the loop. I hope you enjoyed the video and talk to you soon.